Hey what's up guys, Ultimate here and this is my review of No Man's Sky. Now before I get on to that, I'm actually running this game on the current patch which was released in late August and I'm glad to say that performance and optimization wise on PC has been steadily improved. When not recording I'm actually playing the game on 60 FPS and that's a big improvement on my case and I like that. As far as new content, I've not seen anything yet aside from space combat so when you do space combat as you're shooting down uh, your enemy the camera actually zooms in and honestly I don't really like that it feels kind of weird or maybe I'm too used to the old system and with this one introduced it's just weird so in any case regarding the game 12 hours into it and sadly to say my interest in the game it has steadily decreased I do hop into the game once in a while just to you know release some steam uh, just to just to waste time basically but the drive is not there there's no point for me to actually continue this game and travel to the center of the galaxy like uh, how what how we're supposed to be playing it what was intended for us to do because there's no drive there's no motivation whatsoever there's no there's no hype to actually go going into the center of the galaxy. For me, I I just take the opportunity to just explore whatever there is in this vast universe that was created by Hello Games, 18 quadrillion of them. But even with 18 quadrillion systems out there, the repetition uh, a lot of things is very 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 apparent as far as I know there's three alien species that you can encounter you got these guys the Kovacs that looks like big fans and cosplayers of Daft Punk there's the Gek the lizard like ones and the third one I don't remember what they were because I think the Kovacs is the most uh, easily recognizable ones because of their wacky design but in any case uh, alien interaction is pretty much the same throughout. You go from planet to planet, system to system. Whenever you meet a new alien, it's either you just buy stuff from them or sell stuff to them. Then you got these guys who hang out in outposts or space stations. What they do is basically they either give you items or you give them items for interactions. Or they give you instructions for quests or just be test subjects for some strange reason. So yeah, there is the language system, which is sort of interesting, but it does not make sense. You got three different alien species to encounter, and all three of them have their own unique languages. But the problem is, when you discover their knowledge stones, or artifacts, or even ask to learn uh, the, the language from a certain alien, all you get is just one word. I mean that's a shitty deal man. I know it's, it's a, it does encourage you to explore the entire universe to look out for all these uh, knowledge stones and learn alien languages but it just it just doesn't make sense. After a while you get bored and you just don't care about it anymore literally and and some conversations are important but due to the fact that you just learn one word at a time you just, yeah, basically you just lose interest. So, in terms of survivability in this game, the, the survival aspect of the game, there's no sense of urgency to be honest. Yes, you can explore, gather all these uh, materials to make sure that you, uh, to refill certain systems of your suit or ship in order to survive, but there's no real, real urgency in it. Sure, my, the current planet that I'm on is extremely hazardous. It's the radiation is very, very dangerous. My, as you can see, the gauge of my uh, hazard system is decreasing very, very steadily. But like I said, it, it doesn't give you a drive to survive. Hey, that rhymes. So yeah, and the resources that you need in order to refill your systems 
are abundant throughout the galaxy. I mean, you can find plutonium either near outposts, you can find them in caves, and then uh, to refill your life system, you need carbon, which are D's, you can just tear them down. So yeah, resources-wise, it's very generous and sure it allows you to explore more but you want No Man's Sky to be a survival game make it a survival game man there's a that's the thing about this game it lacks an identity unlike how it was first uh, unveiled years back with its excellent first trailer you just not you just don't get that that feel when you're actually playing the game So yeah, that's pretty much on the survival side. Now let's move on to the inventory. God, I hate the inventory system in this game. The reason being is that upgrades and inventory slots are in one thing. So it, it just doesn't make any sense. I, I know it's all about inventory management, so you have to make sure that you don't overstock certain stuff. That is annoying too, by the way. I I am glad for the notifications on uh, on the status of your hazard suit, life support and whatnot. But come on, man! You don't have to like throw it in my face. You can just put it put a small a small notification on the bottom left screen or bottom right screen. Just a small, and you got that as well. I haven't claimed my pre-ordered ship yet. Uh, the ship that came along with the pre-order and I'm sort starting to regret pre-ordering this game already at first the game is fun the game is interesting very it pulls you in but after 12 hours as I mentioned earlier it just got extremely boring so yeah uh, yeah inventory there we go inventory wise my god so you got your exosuit inventory, you got your starship inventory, multi-tool does not actually count. This is the actual, an actual menu of upgrades which I can tolerate because all you want in your multi-tool is just upgrades. While your starship, you, you need to fill up your inventory space with upgrades that goes with your suit as well and I, I that just doesn't make any sense why can't you just make a separate compartment for upgrades and then you have your inventory compartment for you to store your stuff I mean that would be great I like I said just now I know it's it's the sense of uh, inventory management but do you do we really need that? I mean, it's been it's one of the most complained uh, features of the game, and that's saying something already, man. So, what else is there to talk about? Yes, discoveries. For me, at first, renaming planets, systems, moons, animals, and plants was fun, but after your third encounter, sorry, your your third discovery of another system, you just don't feel like doing it anymore, man. Because, what for, right? Sure, it it's it's a, a way to leave a mark in the, in the world of No Man's Sky, if any other player were to discover it. It, it is a cool thing at first, but after a while, you, you just lost your steam to actually give a damn about doing, sh doing it. Same station? Yeah, it is. Where's my ship? No. Oh, here it is. Alright, let's move on to space travel and combat. Let's take off. I have to admit, exploring a planet is mesmerizing to realize the fact that it's an entire planet not just one small map is mind-boggling and this is one of many I can tell you that 
this is cool I can tell you this is cool what is not cool is the whole uh, that the pop-ups that has not been improved in the latest patch but I think it it is uh, it is the part of the game system so I guess there's nothing you can they can do about it how they planned this game to be anyway let's get out of here so you got that and I noticed that most of the planets that you discover in the game are mostly habitable there are life even though some are very sparse in life, but there's no no wow factor, man. There's there's no gas planets, giant gas planets or anything like that for you to discover. I know it doesn't make sense because you can't land on a gas planet, but actually, to actually have different types of planets around with ring systems and whatnot in in star systems that would be cool just just for the sake of cosmetics I don't mind hell if it's a gas planet of course there should there should be multiple space stations orbiting around it that'd be cool as well you can at least drop by uh, drop by nearby star stations sorry uh, nearby stations for trading and whatnot but as I mentioned earlier trading in this game is very limited there's no actual motivation for you to, to do any trading whatsoever because trading in this game uh, there is a rarity system certain elements or materials are could not be found in certain systems but what's the point after uh, traveling so far it's not like you really want to keep those things in the inventory that, that's another thing about the inventory system because something once you discover something precious, very precious, in in systems far beyond where you are, you probably would have sold it already, and it's no longer there for you to do any method of trading whatsoever. And that doesn't really make any sense. Another thing to add is that there's no way for you to backtrack, no sorry, there's no way for you to return to previously discovered systems, especially when you've traveled so far into the game. And that's a big bummer. You can backtrack, but later on, once you've upgraded your hyperdrive system, you can basically jump uh, further into into the galaxy. And when you look back to where you're from, you're basically lost. You lost where you were. Let me show you the galactic map. This is what I meant. <laughs> to be honest, the galactic map is extremely annoying. It's not really towards my liking because movement wise you're limited to whatever star is nearby and navigating this map is very annoying so this is how you do it it feels like the upgrade system in Final Fantasy X <laughs> to be honest so if once you move further down then you get lost so you have to do that backtracking line to line move whatnot that's that's where you are but yeah for me navigating the the galaxy map is very annoying it's not the worst my liking there there are better ways to do it like in uh, elite dangerous where you can actually open up uh, a star map or type in a certain galaxy or sorry a certain star system that you found before and ex or an existing one and you can just travel there okay the argument being is that the star systems is player discovered but I think it's not a bad addition if you do have a search bar and whatnot it's especially if you want to find places that sorry systems that you've discovered that'd be so cool I mean uh, I do. I have found certain planets that look very beautiful with rich flora and fauna. The scenery is very beautiful, but it's sad to know that there's after 
you progress through the game, there's no way for you to return to it. I mean, it's your discovery. Why can't you, right? And that's a big bummer. So, moving on to space... Yeah, there's plenty of resources also in space. So if you're low on Thamium-9, Thamium-9 is basically what you need to refill your pulse engines. There's plenty of them here. Just shoot down these asteroids and voila, Thamium-9. And here's a good example of space combat. Sometimes you do get distress signals, sometimes you get stopped by pirates. But honestly, let's get there a bit faster. Wait. But space combat is, to me, is very unimpressive because it's very basic. It's very extremely basic. I mean, there's no fancy maneuvering. It's basically just aim and shoot. As far as I know, there's no missiles or torpedoes, and the micromanagement. Uh, regarding your shields and whatnot you have to enter your inventory and refill your shields through there rather than having a short key to do all that that's a big bummer for me though okay this is space combat that's this is basically it sometimes you can fuck up ow yeah sometimes you can fuck up and shoot shoot the people you want to protect instead and they get aggroed very easily to be honest oops what's going on yeah sorry about that okay this is bad so I'm gonna retreat right now So I pissed off the sentinels. That's not good. So here is... What? Oh, I died. So, so yeah, th that's what you get. This is space combat. I don't, I don't like it one bit. Because there's no room for you to lick your wounds or do some micromanaging uh, in terms of... Uh, reallocating your power to shields or weapons or anything and there, you, you don't find that there in this game and that's a big bummer for me and I love space sims I love uh, space simulators like X-Wing Elite Dangerous and whatnot and those are the better examples of space sims No Man's Sky is nowhere near or close to them you could say that this game is light years away from the other games' excellence but yeah everything about this game feels basic feels basic feels very compressed the like I said the freedom is very limited ironically and to put it in a certain way this feels like a greenlit steam game I mean you know like the early access ones it's not it's not a sixty dollar game I can tell you that it feels very compressed very small and there are better games out there even on greenlit even on on early access and they're fun to play like the long dark sure it's not sci-fi but uh, the survival element is there and there's elite dangerous which is far more better and there's uh, star citizen they just released their new footage and it looks looks sweet it looks big okay and that that's another thing comparing I hate to do this to you guys no for for the team that did no man's sky but I have to compare you with star citizen sure star citizen is still in development it's only being re released in modules and small bits but the sense of immersion is there for no man's sky immersion is very temporary like I said, just the first few hours is is very staggering, is very remarkable. But once you play this game enough, that's it. That's all you can get for No Man's Sky. 
Oh, I actually thought someone took my ship. <laughs> That'd be good, actually. Someone suddenly stole your ship and you have to buy a new one. Yeah, add all those things in. Make make this universe feel alive. Then it should. It just feels like people coming into the station, coming out of the station, going to a planet and whatnot. There's no real interaction. So this game could have been better, to be honest. And... I was extremely looking forward to this game once it was released, but sadly, it, it, it doesn't hold that long with me. So in any case, th that has been my review of No Man's Sky, and for you guys out there who are still deciding whether to get this game or not, honestly, in, in being extremely honest to me, uh, to be precise, I don't really recommend it unless you're one for for going around if you want a zen like experience yeah sure this game is probably for you if you're cur the curious type and you want to explore do a lot of exploration yeah sure pick up this game but any if you're expecting any more than that like space combat trading ship customization even and other things that make a sci-fi game a sci-fi game or a survival game a survival game this game is not for you and uh, did I regret to actually buying this game no not really I, I actually set my mind to buying this game so yeah it's on me but yeah so in any case that has been my review of No Man's Sky Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.